A Uyghur group says Chinese police have killed 20 people during a clash between Uyghurs and the police in China's western Xinjiang region on Monday. Local authorities have blamed terrorists for this latest round of violence in the tightly controlled region. Violence erupted again in China's western Xinjiang region. Ethnic tensions between Han Chinese and the Uyghur minority group continues since the deadly riots broke out there in 2009. Protesters apparently attacked a police station in Hotan City on Monday. Chinese authorities blamed terrorists for the attack that left at least four dead, whereas an exiled Uyghur group claims local police killed 20 peaceful protesters. Stetuan Xinhua News Agency reported Hotan City Police had gunned down rioters that were attacking a police station, taking hostages and setting the station on fire. But according to the German-based World Uyghur Congress, a different set of events took place. They say the clash began after police fired on a group of demonstrators protesting against police brutality. Chinese authorities fired on protesters. So far, we have been told that 20 Uyghurs have died. 12 have been injured, three seriously. Those injured include four women and an 11-year-old child. Oil-rich Xinjiang is heavily populated by Muslim Uyghurs. They have long complained of their religion and culture being suppressed. The Chinese regime has kept a tight grip over the region and usually blames unrests on terrorists or separatists. Chinese authorities sent a counter-terrorism team to Xinjiang after Monday's clash, according to state media. The World Uyghur Congress says roads into Hotan have been blocked and more than 70 people have been arrested.